Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, July 15th, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, the big news, of course, today is Microsoft's patch Tuesday for July. And well, we got 123 vulnerabilities being addressed, 17 of which are critical and two were previously disclosed. But these numbers don't tell the full story this time. There's one vulnerability that really sticks out this month, and that's CVE 2020-1350, a remote code execution vulnerability in Windows DNS server. This vulnerability has a CVSS score of 10, so a perfect 10 CVSS score. And of course, as a result, a code being executed using this vulnerability will run as system. So the real question here is how soon should we expect an exploit for this vulnerability? Currently, no exploit has been released. Checkpoint, who has discovered this vulnerability, believes that uh, this vulnerability will likely be exploited soon. Checkpoint has held back on a detailed blog post about this vulnerability to give people more time to patch. Of course, there is not a lot we know at this point about this vulnerability. The workaround that Microsoft published gives us a little hint in that it restricts the size of a TCP DNS responses. The default maximum DNS response size is 65,535, so a full 64 kilobytes or FFFF in hexadecimal. Now, Microsoft suggests that you adjust the registry setting for the maximum DNS response size via TCP to FF00 in hexadecimal, so just 255 bytes less. So according to this, it looks like in order to exploit this vulnerability, an attacker will trick your DNS server into sending a request to a malicious DNS server. The reply will then exceed this maximum size for a DNS reply and trigger the vulnerability. Now, the nice thing about the workaround is that it only requires that you restart the DNS service. You do not need to restart the complete server, unlike if you're installing the patch. And as long as all your DNS server does is act as a recursive DNS server for your organization, it's highly unlikely that restricting the DNS response size will cause any significant harm. On the other hand, you won't really notice if anything is going wrong. If you restrict the DNS response size and a larger response arrives, it will just get discarded and apparently there is no log that tells you that this DNS response got discarded. Now, of course, the possible downside is that some organizations are kind of abusing DNS as a database and uh, transfer all kinds of uh, different records uh, using DNS that may exceed this maximum size. And of course, then stuff will break. I highly recommend that you do apply the workaround in the next couple days, if at all possible, and better patch. And this is a patch that you definitely want to expedite and uh, roll out if at all possible, by the end of the week. And given that this is likely exploited via DNS responses, you are vulnerable even if the DNS server isn't directly accessible to unsolicited requests from the outside. All the attacker has to do is trigger a DNS request from your DNS server to a malicious DNS server the attacker controls. And of course, all it takes to do that is often just an email from a particular domain name. Now, other interesting patches in Microsoft's update today, there is a remote code execution flaw in Outlook that could be triggered if the user views a malicious email. And then we also have a kind of expected updates for .NET Framework, SharePoint Server, and Visual Studio that patch a remote code execution vulnerability. 
As far as Adobe is concerned, we do not have a Flash update today. However, there are updates for Cold Fusion that fix a DLL loading vulnerability. Nothing uh, too critical, I would guess. Uh, what's probably more exploitable is a command injection vulnerability in Adobe's download manager. So in short, this Microsoft Patch Tuesday was all about Microsoft's DNS server. Nothing you have to worry about if you're running one of the desktop operating systems like Windows 10. This only affects the server operating system if it has the DNS server role enabled. And yes, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.